Another day, more drywall progress. He's already been down here and he sanded down a bunch. Now he's just putting another coat of the putty on. Touching up a few spots that need extra coats here. That's where the tape bubbled up and I had to cut that piece out. Okay. And as you can tell, this place is trash, so I'm gonna try to get some of it cleaned up. certainly isn't perfect, but it's much cleaner than it was. James will probably be down here in the dungeon all day, putting up the mud. This poor dusty man in his monkey shirt. <laughs> Look at his hair. James. What? It's white. And not from your gray hairs. How much do you love doing drywall? It's the worst thing in the world. <laughs> you look so funny. This is how they torture people, actually. <laughs> Okay, well, he's almost done for tonight. Let me scoop out so you can see. He is really making progress. If you look real closely on the walls, you'll see check marks. Like, there's one there and one over there. And that means that those areas are completely done. So, actually, most of the basement is done. Everything on that wall is done. Check, 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 check. So, that wall's finished. Over here. Oh, I see check marks over here. Poor James. <laughs> Let's get back over this way. It's really looking nice. Over there is done. Yo! I just stepped in putty. That happens a lot. Oh well. And here's looking good. You can see where some of the places are drying. Okay, we should be able to start painting this weekend, hopefully. Well, he's at it again today. He's been down here working on the drywall. Got up for work at 4.30, went to work, left here at five, worked from six until 4.30, got home 5.15, and he's been working on this since. Making lots of progress though, so that's good. So that we can hopefully paint this weekend. And it's now 10.15. And of course, he has to get up at 4.30 for work again tomorrow. Oh my goodness. So the drywall is pretty much done. But as you can tell, this place is trash. It looks like we've got like an inch of snow throughout the whole basement. Obviously, that's just drywall dust. So I'm going to try to get all this cleaned up. Another thing too is inevitably, look right here. The putty, it just splashes and gets on the ground. So this weekend, we're actually going to prime, paint, and then we'll be ready for flooring. So I got to get all of this up throughout the whole entire basement because it's everywhere. You can see where I started to sweep all the spots that need to be scraped up. I'm going to use this old shovel here. Works pretty well. I already tried it on a couple of them. You just kind of go like this and then... Done. So I'm going to get started. I got it done. The snow mounds of dust are all gone.
It's hard to tell in the video, but I promise you it is a billion times better. Oh, it's looking good. I even swept over here. I got to take the trash out, so don't look at that. But even got the couches cleaned up. The boys actually helped me with this. Elias swept all the dust off the couches. He did a great job. And Levi picked up all the toys over here. Turn the light on. Got the little storage room kind of cleaned up. That's all the boys' toys for when they're down here. Got the little kitchenette and bar area cleaned up good. And then last but not least is the bathroom. Take it back over that way. You can kind of see over here better from this angle. But in the bathroom, it's very clean. We are now ready to wipe the walls down, prime them, and start painting. It's officially time to start painting. Oh, I'm so excited. This is the same hat that I wore when we actually primed the entire house when we were building this house. Anyway, James got home from work today and he came down here. He took out all of the lights in the ceiling that you see behind me here because we have to prime everything, the ceiling, the walls. We're doing that tonight. After he took out the lights, he did light sanding over everything just to make sure everything was completely smooth and ready to go. I came back down with the vacuum, swept it all up one more time. And now we are going to tape everything off that doesn't need to be sprayed with giant drop cloths and then we're gonna start priming. Are you ready to prime, babe? Yeah, I'm ready. Do you like painting? No, I hate it. <laughs> so, <laughs> he hates painting. I, he, I, I would rather actually paint than drywall though. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I didn't do any of this drywall. James did it all. But I usually do all the painting. I don't really mind painting it. It's something that I can do. So this handsome guy, he's gonna help me tonight though because we're using the sprayer. We are set up and ready to go. This is the primer that we use. We used it on our entire house. This stuff works really well. It kind of fills in voids if there are tiny imperfections in the drywall, which I like. And then over here, got everything taped off because it does overspray a lot. So we obviously didn't want to get white paint all over the basement. That's tiring. It's not hard, it's just, I don't know, something about it that's tiring. Anyway, we started at 10 o'clock on the dot and it's 10.47, so we did this whole area in 47 minutes. Not bad. Now we're gonna clean out the sprayer and then I'll show you guys what it looks like tomorrow morning when it's dry. It's the next morning and it looks amazing. It's hard to believe that just a coat of primer makes it look this good, but it looks fantastic. So what we're gonna do next is paint the ceiling black. ceiling is still drying, but it looks so good so far. It's really hard to tell because we've got random lights all over the basement, but James did actually put a few lights back in. 
because it's tacky enough in some of the areas. But anyway, so that, I'll show you once it's finished drying. It looks great so far. I'm gonna start painting. Here it is. The paint is Sherman Williams Peppercorn, number 7674. And this is the paint that I had it mixed in from Lowe's. I was gonna get the cheaper Valspar, but they were actually out of it, so they gave me the cheapest version of Valspar price for the most expensive Valspar product. I think this one's normally 50 a gallon or maybe 55, and we got it for 34.99. Let's get started. First coat is done. I think I'm only gonna need one coat of this stuff, which is shocking. I've never actually bought a paint that only needed one coat. But anyway, looks good so far. I'm gonna get started on the next wall. The painting is done. I love this color peppercorn by Sherwin Williams. It just looks so classy. It's dark, but it's not too dark. I just love it. It looks fantastic in the ceiling. It's still not completely dry. You can see some areas that are still a little bit wet, but the areas that are dry, to my surprise, look perfect. I love it. We are gonna do a real wood trim around the whole movie theater room to help with the transition from the black ceiling to the gray wall. That's why you'll see the trim job isn't perfect because I knew it was gonna get covered up so I didn't spend too much time on it. So there's gonna be some indirect lighting that's gonna go underneath that wood trim that's gonna go all the way around this movie theater. It's really gonna look nice. But this is the color, the paint job, it's done. It looks great. We just got everything cleaned up because it was trashed down here because while I was painting, James over here, I'll give you a little sneak peek, was working on some built-ins. They look amazing. They're made with some old barn signing from our barn on our property, but that's gonna be the next video, so I'm not gonna show you that yet. But I just love this, it looks great. I'll show you above the built-ins over here. Looks amazing. The beam right here also turned out really nice where it was painted. Love it. And all these wires you see sticking out of the walls, that's for the speakers. But, all right, I think that's a wrap for the night. And just in case you notice that all the outlets do not have covers on them, we are well aware, but no worries, it's not a safety concern. The electric to all of the outlets is turned off, so we're good. We will obviously put the covers on all of these before we turn the electric on. Today I'm going to be painting the bathroom. It's going to be a really light tan color. I'm not great at picking out paint colors and I know I wanted something really light and I definitely wanted the peppercorn gray for out here. So if you go to SherwinWilliams.com, they actually show you colors that pair well with the color that you pick out. So this is the color that they recommended. And this is the color. It's called Wind Fresh White Sherwin Williams 7628. Of course, I did not get it mixed at Sherwin Williams though because their paint's too expensive. So this is what I got from Lowe's. It'll probably need two coats, but that's fine. And there it is. The painting of the bathroom is done. You can see it over here too. And James went ahead and put in that light, which I love. This is like a really nice rustic looking light. And it was a set with a towel holder and a toilet paper holder and all the pieces. It was super cheap on Amazon, less than hundred bucks. So I'll link that in the description. And then over here, this picture, this is kind of the color scheme we're going for. This is a picture James took on our first out west trip. It's in Yellowstone. I just love this picture and the colors in it. So we're going to do those light tans and dark greens in this bathroom. All right, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.